Hello everyone, I want to give you all an update on my situation right now, where exactly I am in the process. It is August 17th right now, and my orientation in Japan is on Saturday the 23rd, and I've been having some issues getting my visa. Um, the documents that I sent in with my visa application from Japan had um, a couple problems, and so I had to resend them. Um, back to Japan so that they can fix those issues and a couple days ago I received um, my documents um, emailed back to me because that is um, because the consulate wanted it in a, in a digital form to complete my application and the consulate called me uh, a couple days ago and they said that um, everything's been resolved and that they'll that they're working on processing my application but I have to come in on Monday and bring in the original um, documents that um, I received um, from Japan um, yesterday and um, so I have to go drive up there tomorrow um, I have to sign for it, turn in the original forms and I have to turn in some photographs that they also requested so I'm getting my visa so <laughs> that's been resolved um, I didn't think I would actually have that problem um, but apparently the students going to Japan are having a lot of problems getting their visa so our travel agent is pretty much scrambling all over the place to um, resolve them all um, and I'm also um, getting prepared to, you to start packing everything away um, I went shopping this weekend to get my toiletries and other um, necessities and it's was pretty expensive I guess you can say but it's worth it because since I'll be away for a year um, but I got all of that taken care of and um, I got all my clothes I got all of my um, gifts for my host families um, yeah I'm pretty much got everything set up I just need to pack everything away and my airline tickets because I'm not gonna pack until I get my tickets um, I um, also went to my um, club's rotary meeting on Thursday and I got to meet our exchange student from France her name is Julie and she's really nice her English was really good I was surprised by that because usually a lot of students struggle when they first get here but she knew what I was talking about and what everybody else was talking about and so um, I gave just like me update to my club about my situation about my visa problems um, <clears throat> she gives, um, Julie is going to give her presentation about her host country next week, um, on the 21st, and hopefully I'll be gone by then, but if I'm not, I am definitely going to go see her presentation. She seemed like a really interesting girl, um, and I really wish that I had more time to get to know her, but, um, <clears throat> I don't, so that's pretty upsetting but um at least I gotta meet her though because a lot of times people don't get to meet their their um their counterpart who's coming into their town and their school oh and school starts tomorrow for her so I wonder how she's going to be doing over there I was also notified by my district in um Shikoku that on the 23rd all four of the exchange students on that island are going to have to give presentations about themselves. I just finished mine yesterday. It was really, really fun going through all the pictures for my slides. And they also told us that we had to have an intro prepared before we give our presentation. So I've been, memor I've been memorizing and um, working on that. I wanted to include like some Japanese key phrases throughout my um, PowerPoint like saying brother in Japanese, family, so that it's not just purely on English besides my intro that's be that's going to be in Japanese. I want to at least incorporate some of my Japanese in there. Um, so hopefully that goes well. And um, that's all I have right now on my situation. So hopefully I'll leave within next week but I'm still here in California that's good but I kinda wanna get going already um, so my next video is gonna be about um, my host gifts and 
a lot of the things that I'm going to bring for my family and club members and friends that I'll make in Japan from California, I have a lot. So my next video is going to be all dedicated to that. Bye-bye.